Hello everyone, and welcome to the wonders of Wildberry Island, where I am currently basking in our beautiful flower field that we created on Special Event Island after the celebration of Earthmas, and basically having the time of my life, because how could I not? Look at me! I am surrounded by flowers. I cannot believe we ended up planting and creating this many flowers while we were celebrating Earthmas. You guys, what a beautiful way to see the world that we have created together. And I'm also really impressed because look at this! Isn't this the cutest thing? This is a beach towel! A beach towel that a Lari, our artist, sent us. And I was able to recolor it to look like grass. So now it looks like I am one with the wildflowers. Which is, of course, completely appropriate for the wonders of Wildberry. Also, where the heck is my, my joy emoji? Hello? Hello, I am very joyful. I would prefer to have... There we go. Let's go ahead and put that right back where it belongs. <laughs> there we go. But hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome to Wildberry. And this morning is actually a very special morning because, believe it or not, I wasn't going to end up having a episode for all of us to enjoy here on the YouTube channel since there was a huge Earthmas live stream releasing today four hours by now you guys will have already seen it uh because this episode even though it's may 6th right now will be coming out in a couple days and i realized that we absolutely had to make this happen because the nookling brothers are selling something very special in the shop today and so this is kind of like a bonus episode don't panic our time is about to get a little bit odd my friends because our adventures in wildberry island have really been transforming everything and i am falling even more and more in love with them <gasps> where's my joy emoji i need joy in my life oh my gosh there we are oh thank goodness i can't believe that joy was missing again but our adventures in Wildberry have come to mean so much to me, and we have really begun to explore them in ways that I never dreamed of over on our Twitch channel. So as we start doing more and more surprise little mini live streams, as we start jumping in together to be together as we take care of Wildberry and see what sort of beautiful wild wonders it has, be able to take care of our villagers, watch as we redo Special Event Island for all of the special events that we have in our lives, then I know that the time is probably going to get a little weird. So never fear, we will always have our Twitch up live streams re-uploaded over here. And we will continue to have normal episodes of Wildberry mixed in as well. But basically, don't sweat the details of what day it is. And we're on Wildberry Island time now. And that just, you know, that that's greenery time. Wildberry Island time means that it will be, um, it will be different sometimes, so don't, don't sweat the details. The calendar is outdated. It's old. Can't trust those things. We're on island time now. <laughs> so just don't worry about that moving into the future, and I hope you all can just enjoy life here on Wildberry together with me. And of course, if you would like to join us in all of our live streams, you can be here with me live as we take care of the island together and help me make some big decisions about its future and of course make some big decisions about how to celebrate all of the people who live here <gasps> there's a balloon i hear a balloon octavian good morning <gasps> octavian and there's also a rare butterfly oh we're so lucky let's see what the winds of wildberry have brought us and let's see what this bird wing no come back here bird wing butterfly please please Come back to me. I will love you. Please. And almost. And got him. Yay, I love this one. These beautiful green bird wings are one of my favorites. I cannot wait for Flick to come back. I have no idea which thing I would actually end up asking him to commission next because I love so many of the things he's got. But there we go. We'll go ahead and put that outside Octavian's house for just a moment, and let's see what the winds above Wildberry have just offered us. Iron Nuggets! Okay, like, I'll, I, I can take that, I can take that. The Iron Nuggets that the winds of Wildberry have given us are at least better than the standing toilet that it recently gave me. Literally, no. I was so sad when this came down from the sky. Like, of all of the things we could have gotten, this... Uh, I mean, that's gonna entertain someone at least. 
All right, well, at least it's in our catalog now and we can get rid of it. Because today, my friends, we're on a special mission. We are actually going to be visiting with Sky today and doing very something very, very, very special for Sky that we have been meaning to do for a long time. Let's say good morning to Octavian really quickly, though. Glad to see you, Siri. Having someone to talk to sure does make living on this island more fun. Oh, I'm so glad, Octavian. He really has settled in quite well. But all right, guys, I'm about to reveal to all of you what the mission of the day is going to be because the Nooklings are selling something very important inside of the Cranery today. Something that will allow us to transform the island. All right, let's go in and do this. Tommy, Timmy, the day has come for Sky to finally... Dun, 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 dun. Good morning, boys. Get her library! You, no, 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 no. I don't want to cry about that unless it's tears of joy. She's going to get a library, you guys, because the Nookling Brothers are selling infinite books today. We have money, they have books. And with all of the books that they have, we can finally go ahead and we can build Sky's library. We can make her wooden bookshelves. We could make some wooden block bookshelves if we felt like doing those instead. We'll also be able to go ahead and craft up dun 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 the classic library wall which requires 10 10 books in order to create so i'm very 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 excited about that this is fantastic we've been special ordering books and stockpiling them in my house for a long time but since the nooklings are selling books infinite today we can make as much as we need this is so exciting good job nookling boys i'm very pumped about that you you two have done such an excellent job wonderful amount of books we're going to be able to hopefully impress sky and make her very happy also we need to buy that recycling bin and give it to cranston oh my gosh we need to do that but speaking of sky guys i've also oh and then this fell from the sky and by the way sky in case i can't say sky often enough uh did run up to me after i put it down this actually fell from the sky right behind meringue's house and she got so excited about this espresso machine. You guys, I couldn't believe it. Like, look, it even makes a little espresso. Isn't that so cute? But I put it on the ground because I wanted to see what it looked like. And then Sky ran up to me and she made her own espresso. And then I talked to her and she said how she loved the smell of the espresso. And she was so excited that it was on her daily walk. So we're totally going to be putting this somewhere where she can access it. So let's go ahead and move that. We also need another one to give to Meringue. And then here is my big reveal. Because I have done a little bit of work in the village, friends. And ta-da, Sky's house has moved. I managed to move it back into the place where I really wanted it, gave her some beautiful flowers, and we have given her a balcony. I'm really hoping that this idea actually, oops, no, 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 I wanna be surprised by this. No, not cry about this unless it's tears of joy. We've given her a balcony. And I'm really hoping that this idea will work out, but I saw a picture where somebody had made like a reading balcony and it hit me, instead of making a really big, like, up uh, cliffside library, what about a small personalized library for Sky, So that she could come over here and she could just have what we could call like a balcony off the back of her house. And we could put down a few chairs. She could go ahead and have another tiny library up here. And then she could just settle in. She could relax and she could read books and maybe sip some espresso. So I really love that idea. We're going to try to build her a backyard balcony, which means I have to pay Lloyd off today. That's going to be perfect for her to be able to enjoy having all of the books down here. So that's the goal today. Build lots of books in the library for Mama Sky, which means that we're going to go ahead and transform ourselves. You ready for this? Dun 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 dun! into our librarian outfit huzzah huzzah all right i hope this will go well and then finally we do have uh sheldon over there i'm not going to peek at his house and how i've set that up too much because i want you guys to be able to join me on that uh, another day in a live stream we're beginning to get to the point where we have so much to do on the island we have to pick our our like project and stick to it for that day and today the project is making a library area for mama sky I want to put down a big bookshelf over here 
And then I want to go ahead and decorate it with a few more things, maybe a writing desk where she could sit down and do a little bit of writing right over here. Um, oh gosh, this is going to be so exciting. I'm just so tickled with this. This will be delightful. Oh, and we should put down some plants for her too. Oh, this is going to be great. Lloyd, how much do you need? Let's see, log staircase, 168,000 bells. So we're going to need 168,000 bells from my ATM. I'm almost broke. We've been running low on money, so soon we might have to do some live streaming where I just earn money. So keep an eye out for that. But we're going to try this out because you can only have eight, eight uh, inclines on the whole island. We already have two, four, so this would be six. So we might not want to have an incline be a whole balcony for someone, but we're going to give this to Sky for now. We can always dismantle it if it doesn't work. Also, this is quite apt. Sky is getting a gift from the Winds of Wildberry. Let's go ahead and see what it is. All right. Oh, and then Sheldon actually taught me the shell fountain today, you guys, when I was checking on him. Isn't that fantastic? Oh my gosh, we know how to make a shell fountain. Which is so exciting. I can't get distracted because we got to take care of Mama Sky. But look at this. I can make shell fountains now. Oh, that makes me so happy. All right. And we also need to find where the tiny library went so that I can decorate with tiny libraries today. We're going to try to make a library, basically, where we can have a whole bunch of tiny libraries and say that they're Sky giving away some of her books so that people will be able to read from them. So then when people come to visit the island, they could borrow a book. They can take a book, leave a book, or like take a book and put up a little lending library and they can be part of Sky's library system to help with all of the islands being able to have good books to read. I'm so excited for this. All right, let's get this. Gotcha. Yay! Also, I love the museum upgrade. We're gonna have a fossil day probably next week where we'll turn in all the fossils. All right, so let's go ahead and see how many books I have in here. We definitely need to make the actual library wall for the upstairs, which is where I put all of the extra DIYs. By the way, Pierce actually taught me this gel bar. How cool is that? Our policeman actually taught me how to make gel bars. I love it. I think that he's thinking about the mystery of Miss Kitty. Oh, we got a film projector. This is actually what fell from the skies. How awesome is that? Oh, it even has a light that turns on. Oh my good gravy. We're going to have a great time with that. I'm very excited. All right. But upstairs is actually where we're going to have our library, our attic library, where I'm going to keep all of my extra DIYs before we go ahead and either gift or give them away. We might use some of the rare ones, like uh, I think I have some gold ones. Hmm, do I have the gold? Yeah, the gold bars and the golden arowana model we might leave as gifts for people um, for, for winning like a challenge or something in our future live streams. I know I'm mentioning the live streams a lot, but they really have transformed how we have adventured in Wildberry, and I love it. All right, so we just need 10 books for the classic library wall. Let's see what we've got in storage. I have been saving so much for this occasion. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Also, it's really quiet in here. I think I have a Lily record player that someone gave me. Let's see if I can find it. And we can put it out. Okay, there's a there's a cassette player. Do I have the Lily record player? There it is. And we do have a Lily record player right here. Let's actually set that up like over here. There we go. And then turn on some music. What's good library music that KK has? KK Cafe? Hmm. That's actually a little more poppy than I thought. KK Lament? <laughs> no. Not KK March. KK Sonata? Two days ago? Okay, this is kind of adorable. The music quality is not very high. 
because it's playing on a little record player. How cute is that? Do I have a higher quality piece that it might be able to play on? Does it sound the same on the retro stereo? Like stereo? Let's see. Place item. What does it sound like? Yeah! Wow, that is so surreal. I love how the different music players really massively affect the quality of what you hear. All right, well, we're just gonna have to remember that for later. All right, let's put down this little record player and we're gonna get some music playing. There we go. And let's go ahead and we're gonna craft the wall and then we'll see how much we have left in order to craft up all of the things I wanna make for Mama Sky. And she gets the moniker Mama because she's such a sweet, sweet villager. She cares for everybody. It's just amazing. All right. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe it's the quality of the songs. Because this is the same record player and it's definitely a lot more high quality here. All right. Yay, classic library wall. Here we go, guys. We're getting all of the books we're going to say Sky gave us. And we're going to go ahead and put them up on the wall. And while we're in here, let's actually check. I want to make Sky a wooden bookshelf. Do I have the wood? I might need to go ahead and make myself a new normal, like flimsy axe. Oh, I do have wood for it. Yes. Okay. And then how many books do I need? I think I need five books. So wooden bookshelf, I'm going to need at least five books. And then to make the tiny library, I need at least three books. And then to make the wooden block library, I need the wooden block toy. And I need zero books. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to remember that. Maybe that's how we can like give away even more things when we don't have books, is we can just have Sky have a wooden block shelf at least. Because people could give that to some of their villagers at the very least. I love that idea. Okay, let's go ahead and get more books out of storage. And we'll see what we can give to Sky. Miscellaneous. Okay, how many do we have? We've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. All right. We'll think about this. All right. Let's craft ourselves a huge bookshelf. Oh, this is going to be so perfect for her. All right. We'll start with this one. There we go. I know I'm going to want that wooden bookshelf. And then are there any more customization pieces? I'm so excited. Oh, and we should buy her a book and just give her like a plain book. Or maybe we'll give her like a whole bookshelf. I can't remember what she has in her house. Maybe let's give her a tiny library. That would be adorable just to give her like a little tiny library. Also, I don't think I have any of the customization things in the house right now. Time to go outside. And then we can run over, oh, and let's see if I have a writing desk. We need like a spare desk and everything for her. What do I have over here? We have a basic teacher's desk, but I really think having the writing desk would be nice for her. Um, like, well, maybe. Or would a basic teacher's desk, I actually think a basic teacher's desk with that old essay set that we had. I gave it to her, but I would love to buy another essay set. We do have a homework set over here that could possibly fill in. And ignore the big the briefcase full of gold. I need to put that in my star room for sure. We also have the painting set, which is really cute. I need to get that essay set for her again. We could put the cartoonist set down. Here, we'll do the homework set. And then let's grab... Hmm... We'll go ahead and grab both of these and kind of see what we think. And anything else that I immediately can tell would be good for her? Hmm. Oh, this is going to be fun to decorate together and just figure out what to put down for Sky. Like, I'm going to need some good chairs to be able to put up on top of the balcony we're making. Hmm. Yes, this will be quite fun. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot I had that. A shaved ice maker! Oh, I forgot somebody gave that to me as a gift. That'll be great for Meringue's area. This is so much fun. What are you, some of your guys' favorite books? I just finished yet another really intriguing uh, book. 
that I can't remember the title of right now, but it was all about like an imperial court and the politics within the imperial court and there were twists and turns and you just never know like who was going to ally with who and who was telling the truth about liking who it was quite dramatic all right brown let's go with dark brown customize that yeah let's do this yay oh this is so much fun sky i've got to find where you are and then give you a tiny library. Because I love the idea that she's going to set up a tiny library lending service. Alright, let's place this. Oh, you guys, I love it! So basically my idea... We might put two bookshelves over here to hide the entire... Uh, it'll kind of stick out a little bit. But we might put two bookshelves over here to hide the entire um, ramp. And then maybe put down some hedge fencing. And then people can just be guided up this away. And then over here, let's see. Homework set, basic teacher's desk. If we had a writing desk, how would this look? Does it look too crowded? You can actually get over here fine. And then you can come sit down at the writing desk. I hear you. The winds above Wildberry are once again gifting this project with a glorious balloon. So let's see what it is this time. All right, and now we have got, let's open it up. Vinyl round hoed pumps. <gasps> those are really cute. All right, those will go in my, my storage for the moment. Hmm, so that's what the writing desk looks like. Or we could go ahead and put down the basic teacher's desk. Oops. Okay, you don't want to, like, throw spitballs at the teacher. I, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Hmm. I kind of feel like the basic teacher's desk is better. And then we can flip it like this. And then kind of, like, have a spot right here where we could leave books out. Uh, like, where's the homework set? But we could leave books out like this. Oh dear, I didn't mean like that. Oh, can you only do one item at a time on here? Let's see. Alright, like what if you did that and then you left a book? I'm gonna need to drop an item. Like that, and then people could come check a book out! Or they could have the little tiny library section! I love that idea. We need to put down some nice, uh, and something like nice to kind of go across the front to block this in. I think a hedge fence or maybe some of our bushes. Like I might need to collect some of the many, many bushes I have just piled everywhere. Maybe a, a hedge fence or two. Oh, Meringue, good morning. Feels like something's crawling all over me, Itchy. Oh no, Meringue, I've got gotcha. How do you like them apples, Meringue? I got the flea. You found a flea on me? Thanks for grabbing it. Feels like a weight's been lifted, shortcake. Oh, that would be really bad. It must have wanted some of the food you're making. Did you know that Sahara? Oh yes, Sahara is visiting today. Oh, actually, let's go see what Sahara's rugs are gonna be. That might work out really well for us to be able to like see what kind of rug Sahara might have for Sky's area, of course. I didn't even think about that. All right, but before we do that, let's make another lending library or two. For sure. All right, let's go ahead and craft. And we want, I think a second wooden bookshelf actually. Mm-hmm. I gotta think about it, but I don't think we would regret making this, even if it would use up the rest of the books we currently have. Because we can go buy more books from the Nookling Brothers right now. And then I want to grab some of the hedge fences that we have, and then I really want to give Skye a tiny library. So that she can, she can just have the joy of knowing that she can start making tiny libraries herself. There we go. All done. Wonderful. And then let's see. I'm gonna need to get more books. Let's pull the rest of the books out of storage. And then we can go buy the Nookling Brothers and we can buy more of them! 
Oh, I probably won't get as much of Sky's library area done today as I thought I would, but we're making great progress. It feels really nice to finally take all of those books I was piling up <laughs> and do something good with them too. Wow, but I'm actually going to need a lot more items. I thought I had a ton more stuff to be able to decorate this area with, and I really, I really don't. I really thought I had like a lot more so that Sky could like have tons of places to be able to let people sit and visit. I don't have like any chairs. Um, I mean, we have this antique console table that we could possibly put out and then I could put something on like maybe a nice globe. So, but it really, she's not supposed to be like a teaching area here. We'll do like this book stand. She's trying and she definitely would have something cute. Let's give her like something plant related. Let's give her this anthurium, a moss ball. I feel like a nice moss ball would be good over there. All right, and now I need another book in order to make a tiny library for Sky. And I wanted to make enough tiny libraries that we could give some away to people when they come visit. But heck, that's a little, oh, meringue is taking all oh, you guys. Oh, this is so adorable. Okay, we've got to come over to meringue really quickly before she moves. There. Oh, look how cute! Meringue is actually looking up the different types of flowers so she can research the flowers on Wildberry. Oh, I love this. I love it. I love watching as the villagers get to live out their lives here. Learn a little bit more about the wildlife. I mean, it's just so precious. All right, Meringue, you want to peek one more time so I can see the book? There we go. Okay, she's adorable. All right. Let's run back this way. See what our new additions add to this area. Film projector, moss ball, wooden bookshelf. All right, I like it. It makes this area really big, um, but I think that having a little pathway down here is still better than nothing. Yes, yes. Good, good. And I like that Sky just has like her own... Here, we can even like pull this in like this. I actually kind of like that. And then what else did I bring with me? A moss ball, book stands, antique console table. Hmm. A little too crowded there. The writing desk may be a little bit of overkill too, but really right now we're just kind of working with what we have. <laughs> Film projector, the espresso maker, book stands. No, book stands, huh? Oh yeah, these little guys. Okay. I think we need more of these like teacher desks and I need them in a different color to match this wood. And I don't think I can actually put anything yeah you can't actually put anything onto this desk unfortunately but i like this it's a good start you guys this is really gonna hopefully help sky feel like hey i've got a cute little lending library section started where she can lend out a bunch of books and teach villagers how fun reading is let's grab some of the hedge fences really quickly i might just need to get a bunch of bushes also, I haven't seen her. This is really ironic to like build something this elaborate for her. And I have no idea where Sky actually is. Heck! See, this project has already taken a lot longer than I thought. That's kind of why it's so fun to be able to live stream. Because we get sidetracked and there's so many things to do. There we go. Yay! And another tiny library. Oh. Persimmon, how are you doing today, Persimmon? Doing good? I'm glad. Don't worry, guys. Persimmon is our rescue parrot. She's not able to fly. That's why she lives with us here. But I promise she has a good life. All right. What do we want to do? Ooh, ooh let's do wild. Oh, I love that look. <laughs> the fairy tale is so cute, but let's do wild for Wildberry. There we go. And then I think I'm going to buy a bunch of books if I have room for them. <laughs> I don't have room for them. We'll sell some things and then we'll buy a bunch of books from the Nookling Brothers. All right, let's put down Tiny Library right here. There, 
water. See, Sky was always talking about wanting it to like, can I open this? No, I can't, but that would be really cute. But Sky was always talking about wanting to um, like share a lot of books with people. So hopefully this will help. What does it look like if I put down some hedges? Okay, I need to move them a little closer. Not that close. No, 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 I want to be able to... Okay, build the fence. What if I push this back one? Maybe that's what I need to do. And then we can replace some of these pieces. Okay. All right. And we need to put up our classic library wall. Okay. That's what it looks like if I build the hedge fence in front of here. I need a few more. I think I might put bushes in front of there, and that would be good. And then we need to change the ground to be a wood. Uh, maybe even a wood that matches like this design for sure. <laughs> um, gosh, I, I kind of like it a little crowded. I don't think I want to keep the writing table here forever. We'll have to really give that a little bit of thought. Uh, definitely need to put a little hedge fence down on this side to be able to make some privacy for the little library. And it does make it so that then you have this big path coming this way. And it's going to be very interesting to give Sky this backdrop, but I think it'll be worth it. Yo, champ, working on those legs? I'm going to do a few hundred laps around the island. No big deal. You want to come, Splash? <laughs> not right now, Pierce. But yeah, a little crowded, but not bad. I really like it. And it's not like we, we can't make a little bit more breathing room in this spot right here. Better to make the residential area a little bit more crowded, I think, and have more personality. But all right, that didn't quite go the way I thought it would. Let's go ahead and find ourselves. Oh, there's a tiger beetle. Those will sell for several books. Gotcha. Oh, oh, I did not get him. I'm not very good at catching the tiger beetles for some reason. But let's go ahead, head in. Heckin, I thought that we would need more books from the Nookling Brothers, but we actually were able to build a lot of the stuff we needed. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and sell a whole bunch to you. Yay, and now we have Sky's Library started. It still needs a lot of help, but we'll get there. Uh, common, let's see, flea, the butterfly, uh, the raccoon figure, these trees, let's see, the toilet, these butterflies, not the book stands. Um, I mean, maybe the antique console table, but I'll have to come back to you guys on that. Yellow pansy. Uh, you, we can sell the, the shoes for now. There we go. Alright, thank you very much, boys. That'll do. That'll do. Alright, so we'll buy three more books. I wish I had more. <laughs> it's good to be... Maybe I'll buy six books. So we can have at least a couple more tiny libraries, because I want to put tiny libraries all over the whole island. But maybe we'll have to just like reach out to everybody and get some help with books. <laughs> like whoever, I that'd be really fun to do a live stream and then if somebody had books for sale, we could go and say that we're borrowing a bunch of books from their library or buying a bunch of books to give to Sky's library. That would be great. And then whenever somebody has books to sell, we'll go visit their island, like in the live stream. And when we come back, we can make more tiny libraries. That'd be adorable. All right, and last one. Thank you very much, boys. All right, there we go. But all right, guys, so let's grab this recycling bin to give to Cranston at a later date, absolutely. Yes, I'm absolutely serious about this. This would be perfect for Cranston. Thank you. And then this is actually a really nice lamp. Hmm, I wonder if we should give Sky a lamp. Not this one, because it's like not the right color, but a nice lamp to go above her house, like on her balcony. I think we could make that balcony really nice. Maybe that's where we'll put the espresso maker. <gasps> yes, I love that idea. But all right, let's go in. I can't believe this whole day we've like been working on stuff for Sky and I don't actually see Sky. And yes, I know I have mail and we have messages on our board. I'm trying to save those for our streams. But let's make this tiny library. Here we go. To give to Sky. And then let's make one more tiny library. Just, oh, oh, I need wood. Just to be able to put out and about on the island. Because I would love to put a tiny library over by, say, our garden area. 
and then people could learn more about our flowers. Ta-da! All right. Let me go ahead and I want to customize one more of those libraries. There we go. And we're going to customize this one for the wild for wildberry look. Excellent. All right, so we didn't make as many libraries as I wanted because I wanted to cover the island in tiny libraries, but I'm really happy with this. Yay, and we can put down a tiny library over here so that people can actually come and learn more. There we go. Ta-da! And now people will be able to learn more about the wildlife here on Wildberry. Excellent. All right. Well, the only thing I can think that is left to do is to put up the tiny, or to put up the library wall in our house and just check really quickly. Oh, Cranston! Cranston. I'm so glad you're enjoying your pajama like dress. Snack dust, peach nectar, bug dirt, fish slop, nose glop. This outfit goes with everything, sweatband. Cranston, I love you. <laughs> peach nectar, fish slop. Oh my gosh. All right. All right, let's give him the recycling bin because I think that would be so cute. The garbage bin. There we go. It's a recycling bin for your ants, Cranston. There are lots of things like this, but you gave me something like this, so it's extra special. Oh, there we go. All right, he's going to give us a little money in return. Thank you, Cranston. I'm sure the bugs in your house helped you find those. All right, last sweep for Sky. Julian has a new shell fountain that someone sent me, by the way. I'm going to have to show that off to you guys in the future. Last gift from the Winds of Wildberry. I think that our lovely Sky is just going to be surprised when she comes back and finds that she has a library outside of her house. So we'll save the tiny library. <gasps> a Bobbin Bear! Oh my good gravy! This is definitely a different type of Papa Bear than we've had before. It's not pink. And it's perfect to put into our forest! <gasps> okay, I'm saving this for when we stream again because y'all are gonna love Sheldon's new house. But I love this! Definitely some tidying up to do. Definitely need to get Sky her balcony. But I think we're on to a whole new era in Wildberry Wonders. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please sure to leave a like to help Sky set up her library. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing and checking out our Twitch channel because really that's where the Wildberry action seems to be moving because there's always so much to do on Wildberry. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.